Stephen Moore is with me now. All right, Steve, bear with me. Call me crazy if you wish, but I'm going to start with something a little unusual. A former aide to Congresswoman Alexandria mm. Ocasio-Cortez, AOC, now heads up the New York State Communist Party. This aide tweeted, and I'm quoting now, the path to communism will be unkind to those who block progress. I thought this was <laughs> right up your street, Steve. I just thought that this was just something that you'd like to talk about today. So what do you got? Well, first of all, Stuart, good to be with you. I mean, who calls themselves a communist anymore? Right. I mean, this, that's so <laughs> mid-20th century, isn't it? Uh, when I go around the country and give lectures on uh, college campuses, it's so interesting. You know, I talk about the benefits and the virtues of our free enterprise system and the, and the dangers of moving towards socialism, communism, Bidenism, whatever you want to call them. They're all the same. And it's so interesting to me, Stuart, that the people who come up to me afterward, the, ki the kids who come up to me say, are, the, are the people who immigrated from former communist countries who say, you know, what's with you Americans? I came, I came to this yeah. country to get away from communism, and yeah. now you've got communists here in the United States. Yeah. It, it, is a, uh, it is a dangerous uh, trend in America, a lurch to the left by the Democratic Party. And, uh, you know, you've probably got an alliance now between the Democratic Party and the Communist Party. Yeah, the same thing to me. They say the same thing to me. I'm a refugee yeah. from the socialism of, of Great Britain in the 1970s. Right. You had to get out. I mean, it was just an awful system. Anyway, I but digress. Sure, go on, go on. Sure. You know what? I've got a solution to this. And I always say this. Like, you know, if these folks like AOC and her aides and others think that communism is so great, why don't we provide them a one-way ticket to Caracas, Venezuela, or Havana, or North Korea, spend a couple of weeks there, see how they like it? Or give them the book. Animal Farm by George Orwell. <laughs> there you go. I did that. And I also gave my kids The, the Road to Serfdom. Um, Hayek. Uh, Hayek. 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 Yeah, you got That's it. right, yeah. You give them those books and you can sort things out. And don't forget, too much Milton, time don't forget Milton Friedman's Capitalism and Freedom, which is, was written in the 50s, but it could have been written today. Yes. Uh, I'm using a lot of time up here, so uh, bear with me, Steve. You've got this op-ed, yeah. and it reads, The Green Movement is yeah. a Jobs Killer. Are unions finally figuring this out? I guess the answer is yes, they are figuring it out. Tell me more, Steve. Some of them are. There was a big story that you guys reported on Fox Business last week, uh, which inspired me to write this piece about how the United Auto Workers are withholding their endorsement of Joe Biden. Why? Because this green energy push is causing loss of union jobs. And I want to, because I know you've got a lot of union uh, workers who watch this show, and I want to warn them that, uh, you know, this radical green agenda is an agenda to de-industrialize America. So how can people, for example, who are pipeline, uh, members of a pipeline union vote Democratic? Or how could coal miners or other miners vote for Democrats? Or same thing with auto workers. So the point is that this green agenda really is anti-union, it's anti-jobs, and it will lead to a lot of people losing their jobs. So hooray to some of these unions for finally recognizing that the Green New Deal is coming after blue-collar union jobs. Got it. I'm glad we got it all in. Steve, for, uh, Steve thanks very much for joining us. Almost called you Steve Forbes. Stephen Moore, thanks for being with us. See you later. <laughs> Steve Forbes my best friend, so that's a compliment. And he's on the show later, so that's all good. Thanks, Steve.